Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to the Gaming Library. I'm your librarian for the evening, Bruno Fightmaster, and this time we're going to take a look at the Talos Principle. Uh, this was developed by Crow Team back in 2014, published by Devolver. Uh, it is a first-person puzzle game, pretty widely acclaimed uh, from what I understand. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I think we've done we've done a lot of RPG stuff uh, to just get our, I guess, get jokes out of the way. Um, we did a little bit of horror uh, as far as getting our hearts racing and some drill and pumping. Uh, let's try to get our try to get the mind going here. Try to get our minds opened up, tickle our uh, thinking caps, as it were. I'm never going to say that sentence again. That was a weird sentence. Uh, but yeah, let's try some uh, Talos Principle here. Uh, and we are going to do the main game here. Uh, I have played a little bit of this, uh, but we're just going to go and start from the beginning. That's fine. Let's do this. It's a very interesting uh, singing in the background here. Initializing firmware. Firmware functional. Loading child program parameters. Loaded. System check. Passed. Starting child process. Ready. I apparently have a very default voice whenever it comes to AI or robots talking. Alright, it's real bright. And it looks like we are definitely not human. All right. Love the architecture. Uh, all of the. Behold, child. Oh, hello. You are risen from the dust, and you walk in my garden. Okay. Hear now my voice, and know that I am your maker. Great. And I am called Elohim. Elohim. Seek me in my temple. Okay. If you are worthy. Well, that's not nice. If you were the one who brought me back to life, I would think I'd be worthy. Alright. Very, uh... Greek-inspired. Columns. Walls. Initializing. Child program logic check. Okay. Okay. Can't pass that. That's a gate. Got it. You. You're a thing. Jammer. Subject orientation interaction. Okay. Cool. Easy enough. So jammers, take down gates. Child program basic calibration successful. That looks bad. That looks like it's going to kill me. Let's jam that. You stay right there. Alright. Guessing that's bad too. So let's do this. I'm gonna jam you here. And pick you up, because that probably means I'm gonna need to. Well maybe not, because yeah, if it's only those one options that I'm probably not gonna need to work. Uh well maybe. Yeah, if I climb up here, I can't get back over, so... Meh. Okay. It's not that. Which is fine. So those are jammed. They can't hurt me. Um, actually, if I need that jammer... Just take that. You can go on your merry way. Let's take it just in case. It's a thing. I don't know where I am. But there is something beautiful about this place. I will explore and see what I can discover. Hmm. Yeah, alright. Everything through uh, QR codes. Interesting. Anything in here? Nope. That Gatling gun gives me death if I want All that. All across but... this land, I have created trials for you to overcome. Hmm. And within each, I have hidden a sigil. Okay. It is your purpose to seek these sigils. Okay. For thus you will serve the generations to come. 
and attain eternal life. Ooh. I like eternal life. That sounds fun. Okay. I'm gonna set you here. Okay. So I need a line piece. A few pieces, actually. Two L's and an S piece to open that up. I can get two L's and an S piece from there. Hooray! An L piece from here. This is something completely different, apparently. Peephole. Okay. So I'm guessing this might be like a special course? Ah. Hmm, I can't take it from across the window, that's... we'll wait. Oh. So... That. Jam that. I'm getting it, I'm getting it. Kinda understand how things work. I always have to take it from the one side, apparently. Can I take you with me? No, I can't. That's unfortunate. Alright, well, now you can jam that, so that way I don't have to... I don't think there's anything there. Is there? Hmm? No, nothing in here. Okay, cool. So I'll grab you. Yeah, you're awful. Nothing in here. You're jammed. Which means I can skirt right past you and get this free thing. Ooh. Fancy piece. You will not need this sigil to open the gate to my temple. I know. But it may serve you in times to come. Okay. Well, now I know. So we don't necessarily have to go through these gold ones. We just need to go through green ones. So. Three challenges over here. Each for different pieces. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Okay. Your... Can I jump over you? No, I cannot. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Take the jammer. Run away from you. Okay. Trap you in there. And hooray! Peace. The shapes you are collecting are not mere toys. Pretty sure they, they are. are. The sigils of our name. Each brings you closer to eternity. So, with these, like, L pieces and that, does that just mean that I'm going to eventually, like, am I just Tetris? Like, is that the end game? Is that I just, like, I'm the final line piece that then brings the world to a harmonious close from having a full line clear? Am I the last line clear? Okay, trap you over there, shut you down. It looked like there was anything interesting here. Oh, no, wow, okay. That was much more straightforward than I thought. Well done, child. Only one more sigil is needed. Hmm, okay, hmm. Well, this is the first world, so it makes sense that a lot of things are going to be a little easier. Uh, because they want me to get my bearings here first, and then they'll eventually like start really letting me have it. Okay. 
It doesn't seem like there's a lot of extra stuff to find. That's the RPG player in me going a little crazy. up here. It's a switch. Oh, that just turns you off, probably. Yes, it does. Hooray! Okay. So you can't turn on the switches. Shut you down. And grab that. Hooray. My temple awaits you, child. Go right. forth. Cool. So, that makes me wonder... If I do have everything I need here, or not there, and here, right? Yeah, so. Ah, and there's even another puzzle. Nope. Make sure you can actually open everything. Okay. So then, what's this? There's one other quick puzzle, but. My child, you do not need to collect all sigils at once. You are free to return to this place whenever you choose. I mean, yes, I could. But here's the thing. If I do that, then there's not really going to be a point for me to come back, as it were. Okay, Jamie, pick you up. Jam you, pick you up, jam you, and we're free. Oh no, you're not gonna let me get out? Okay, that's fine. Oh, right. Because the problem is, is that if I do need to come back, maybe I don't want to. This is efficient puzzling. All about efficiency. Hello? You're creepy. Goodbye. Uh, okay. Well, there's not really anything else, so I guess, yeah, we're gonna talk to you. Loading library session. Mounting local disk. 47 million distributed resources found. Error. Network inaccessible. Mounting library system unresponsive. Locating command prompt. Library archive session ready. This. List of commands, right? Uh, okay, so general programming stuff. List shows resources. Open blank shows a file name. Run MLA, which I'm not going to be able to, and then exit. So let's do list. Uh, let's look at welcome. Hi again. I'm sorry if I was a little odd at the meeting. I know you were nervous, but the truth is that so was I. This may be hard to believe, but you intimidate me. You're so young and you've already accomplished so much. Even if the situation wasn't so grim, I might even be jealous. There's also something I wanted to clarify. I realize that, normally speaking, I'm head researcher here. But this is your project and everyone will respect that. And yes, I know you're not used to working like this, but as of today, you're in charge. <laughs> no pressure. Let's do this, Nadia. That is Nadia to Alexandra. Welcome to the team. So it looks like it is a uh, research partnership here. About figure, I do like that it like recognizes which ones you haven't read yet. So it's kind of nice. The way I see it, the world doesn't come with a manual. You got to figure it out for yourself. A bit here, a bit there. Put it together. Try to make sense of it. I'm pretty sure there's truth, but that doesn't mean everyone who claims to know it really does. Then again, that doesn't have to be a bad thing. We live in an amazing world, and searching for the truth can be a real adventure. Plus, it's good for the brain. Anyway, just some rambling from your old man. Don't let this stuff get you down. You're young. You got lots of time to figure it all out. Love death. Don't we have a to and from, though? So that's a... Uh... Note that's going out to essentially no one, which is kind of unfortunate, but it'll mean something to someone. Chapter 6 Athena in the Garden of Hesperides. 
Plogdrat did not trust them, but they moved with such grace, such nobility, that it was hard not to follow them further into the strange garden of gears and cogs. They led her to a place where the crown of the brass trees seemed to grow together, forming a strange kind of chamber, strangely reminiscent of a chapel. In the middle of this chamber grew a smaller tree, made of a bright blue steel, and upon this tree grew a single golden apple. This apple, the nymph said in unison, their eyes aglow, confers the gift of deathlessness and true wisdom. Many heroes, and not a few villains, have come to claim it, but all have faltered in the final step. For you must know that deathlessness reveals the mortality of the world, and true wisdom its unending folly. Who would take this burden upon themselves? Some say that Heracles, numbers, 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 gazing upon the stars, and wept. So yeah, really leaning into the Greek there. Oh, let's get the Greek myths too. Um, right, you're dead. Oh. No, oh. you do work. Okay. Uh huh. Oh, interesting. Tell me your secrets. The Meltron Library is a system that is designed primarily to sort and classify data in the library archive. Secondarily, it facilitates user interaction with library resources via an intuitive human interface language. It also provides powerful networking and troubleshooting functions. Your query? Um? Heh. <laughs> Are you able to take offense? You cannot insult me. Well, that's good. Just tell me how long is it running? Been active for 999E years. Okay, so it's more than 10,000. Great. How old? Ranging from July 1st, 1995 to 27th of June, 203F. Which means that. Again, time is kind of a weird anomaly here. We are way farther out than we ever would be normally. What's the status of the archive? Probably dead. Ah, uh, 47 million resources taking up 5.42 pentabytes of disk space. 30 billion photos, 7 million minutes of HD video, the entire internet in 2003. However, majority of library resources are corrupted or invalid. Just over 10.5 gigabytes of uncorrupted resources are indexed. Okay. Tell me the corruption. Progressive data corruption is inevitable in any system over time. Additionally, a large number of inconsistencies were detected during sorting, leading to greater than average data invalidation. Terminals provide access to library resource archives. Okay, so this is probably where I'm going to get a lot of the story of figuring out exactly what's going on here. But can you respond to queries of the outside world? My knowledge is limited to the data in the library archives. You can ask about other topics, but my responses may be limited. What am I? You're logged in with the guest account. Jokes. You got jokes, Milton. I love it. You are currently in a support session with the MLA Human Language Interface Module. The library archive session may be resumed at any time. Elohim is the noun for God or Gods in modern and ancient Hebrew. Okay, interesting. So supposedly I'm talking to God. Okay. Uh, and that's actually it, because we don't need to go to help, so, uh, interesting. Oh, and then we can come back and see these at any point. That's kind of nice. Alright, well, I guess let's continue then. So am I actually talking to the Hebrew god, or...? Step into the light, child, and my temple will be revealed to you. Hmm. 
I mean, I guess we could, but there are also so many other pieces here. Do we want to come back or just go with it? Yeah, there's what, two more pieces? Yeah, let's just go and go for one. Alright, first. Trio Bombatiscus. Alright, so there's probably a jammer somewhere around here. So I need to lock them all on this side. And that's actually it. Just lock them all. Go away. Go away. And hooray. Shiny LPs. Alright, easy enough. And we're sprinting through things. We're doing speedrun strats. And by speedrun strats, I mean that I'm just wanting to run to try to cut out some of the extra time that's happening. Let's uh, do that. And back up rather quickly, actually. There we go. Straight forward. Little detour. You are most diligent. Perhaps this trait will serve you well in times to come. Thanks, God, I guess. Okay, and this just tells me what all I've already gotten, which means I've gotten everything here, which means I never have to come back. Ooh, ones and zeros. Step into the light. You walk now upon the stones of my temple, whence many gates lead. And I see that. And know that I have other temples, for my garden is greater than your eye can encompass. That's comforting. And all these worlds I made for you. Aw, how sweet. Okay. So, scene seven. There are mysteries in my garden, hidden roads and secret gates. Mm -hmm. If you dedicate yourself to understanding them, you may join the host of messengers. Okay. Uh, if I decide to do so. See, I don't know if the star means I got something or if I need to go find something. I almost want to go back. Um, yeah, curiosity. Let's go back. Let's see if I can't find the star wherever it is. I don't know where the star would be located, though. Hmm. 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 Okay. Uh, I thought I heard something. Something bouncing off of something else, I guess. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, I've already talked to Milton here. All of his nonsense. I do admit I love having this run button, so that way uh, you're all just not sitting here while I'm being boring. Uh, I can't go back that way or else we'll get shot, which is fine. Ooh, another thing. I find myself in a world of impossible architecture inexplicable machines. I cannot fathom how it works, and I am terrified to put one foot in front of the other, lest I fall through the floor. Wow, alright. Well, that's unfortunate. I'm sorry to hear that, bud. Um... Well, there's not another piece here. Hmm. Eh, I'll look at that at a different time. 
Ooh, thing here. A couple things here. Whatever the end goal of this grand challenge is, it's far out of reach. Knowing that, how are we supposed to resist distraction? My eyes have been opened. This world is not without order. It is shaped by a great designer. With signs and importance to guide my steps, I am one of his children and my challenges are set before me to test my faith. Cool. I'm skeptical, but I also know I need to press forward uh, in order for me to actually be able to get to the next spot. So, not seeing the star anywhere, so I'm not sure what that's detailing, but that's fine. Let's go to the next world. Let this be our covenant. These worlds are yours, and you are free to walk amongst them and subdue them. But the Great Tower, there you may not go. For in the day that you do, you shall surely die. But I thought I was going to get immortal life. That's how that works, right? What's this? When I was a little girl, Ooh, one of whispers. our teachers, Mrs. Higgins, told time us capsule. to make a time capsule. Write letters to the future so one day we could remember what it was like to be children. I thought it was stupid, so I didn't do it. Which I really regret. So, <laughs> I guess I'm going to make one now. Bury it in the archive instead of under a tree. I don't know if anybody will ever find it, but somehow it seems important to keep talking. To keep hmm. thinking. For as long as I can. So I wonder if all these other little islands that are out here, if I've already gone to those. Also, it's letting me do a lot of exploring out here without stopping, which is kind of nice. But I'm guessing probably all for naught. So there's going to be a point where I'm not really going to have anything else to do. Because I'm guessing I can't walk on water, can I? The beginning. Whoa, hello. Nope. You just kind of die. Am I recording? Hello. Hello, friend. Where are you going? Are you leading me somewhere? Okay. Well, that didn't do me any good. Hmm. Oh, there's a different terminal. Hmm. Okay. What do we have here? Uh, library archive is currently unavailable while system resources are redirected to handle incoming network messages. Okay, so the network's down. So, Milton, tell me your secrets. Tell me about yourself. Designed to facilitate user interaction with the resource library, achieved by providing powerful sorting and troubleshooting functionalities. Alright, let's troubleshoot. I think you'd like help accessing network functions. The most common cause is insufficient account privileges. Please enter the admin password. God. Oh, QWERTY? Uh, yeah, we'll create a new admin account. Please take a moment to prove you're not a bot. Cool, you're good. A series of inputs to go here with data protection legislation. You must have your responses developed a broad, psychometric profile. Raw response data will be deleted immediately. Your profile will be made available to other administrators. 
Part 1. Complete all fields. Please answer quickly and instinctively. Time is a factor. Begin program. Alright, yeah, let's do it. Uh, that's four. Uh, content. Best describes a person. Uh, I don't have an invisible pile of secrets, so we'll do a citizen. Walking through a desert, come across the thirst of the traveler. His eyes bulge from slow dehydration. You have water, but you're not sure how far it is to the next oasis. Um, after half. Part 1 is complete. You will see notification when part 2 is generated. Oh. Oh, no, I still get something. Right. Error. That day I often remember from when from sleep I first awakened and found myself reposed under a shade of flower, um, flowers. Much wandering. Much wonder. Well, let's try that again. Under a shade of flowers, much wondering where and what I was, once tither brought, and how. Hmm. Okay. Arg Solutions. From Bob Brokowski to everyone. All these calm people are driving me mad. Have they all suddenly turned to a Buddha or something? I didn't know the world had such reverbs of sen sen uh, serenity. These latter-day Gautmas are at least somewhat being somewhat realistic. You know what's even worse? There's paranoid nutters who are all building bunkers and collecting guns. What are they gonna do? Shoot blank? Now I have to admit, the overall response has been better than I ever anticipated, to the point where I might be moved by the beauty of humanity if I wasn't such a grumpy old fart. This minority of total idiots is really messing up my days. Uh, anyway, the reason I'm writing this is because I refuse to believe in scenarios with absolutely no solutions. If we all put our heads together, we can figure something out. It'll be crazy. But crazy is better than dead. Okay, the world may be ending. One day you discovered that there's not a human being, but a machine. Your life so far was real. No one controlled you or programmed you to behave in some specific way. Your physical and mental capacities are identical to choose those of an organic being, which you created in a lab. No one except you knows this. Your family, friends, they all think you're a regular human like themselves. You could continue to live your life the way you have before, and nothing in the world would change. How do you react? Fifteen to two thousand words. The twenty-six is the final deadline. No extensions will be granted. Submit via email or numbers and such. Does your concept of yourself change? Are you the same person you thought you were? Does your understanding of the world change? Do you reveal this information to others or do you keep it to yourself? Wow, this is a very big brain type of game. Um eh. I think if I were to choose, it'd probably be B. Um, as far as, and eh, we can exit because that's it. Um, because like we understand that the war, it'd be one of those things. Like I understand the world doesn't know everything, and there may be some things that the world may never know, uh, depending on what is told or made visible to them. So you never quite know everything, which means that there's always something to learn, which can be a benefit and a, and a curse, I'll admit, but that's kind of how I see it, so I think I'd go with B in that scenario. Anyway, let's get back to the actual game. Suicide mission. Okay. So is there a reason for me to actually turn that on? Uh, nope. Okay, so. The guardians of this land may harm you, but do not resent them. For they are my servants, and they challenge you only so that your faith might be strengthened. Okay.
Oh. Well, okay then. That was a little more violent than I expected. Uh, but hey, that works for me. At least I can go through, grab this, and then go through. Good. Cool. You are learning, as is your purpose. But your choices must be your own. Therefore, I will not guide you. Unless it is necessary. <laughs> Even though you told me to go... Hmm. Locked door is locked. Okay. Maybe there'll be some other way for me to get in there. That's probably where a star would be. Uh, but anyway, let's continue on. But yeah, you're not going to tell me what to do except that I need to do these puzzles so I can get to you. But no, you're not going to tell me to do anything. No, no. Okay. So... Shut that off. And, uh, okay. Oh, well. Probably gonna need to jam that with you so that way I can move you around and still have access. And nice. Can't get it from all the way back there. From downtown. Make you have something to do anymore. You're available. And then just right on through. Nice. Alright. Is there anything else back here that might be useful? Not really. Okay. Well, pick you up, put you down. We're gonna go on through. If I remember correctly, this game is kind of bad about being very precise. Um, so like where we were just looking at here a second ago, where this was just barely able to tag, like all the way over here on the side. It was just barely able to tag that one. That's going to be kind of a running theme. So you got to be very uh, specific about where you put everything. Alright, the guards must be crazy. Uh, oh, no, don't want to go that way. Ooh, don't really want to go that way either. Oh, nope. I'm just gonna have to go back here. Let you pass. Or not let you pass. Okay. And just let you out. Let you go past. Oh, no, I'm not going to be able to do that. Oh, nope. Okay, so I need to jam you, grab you, then jam you. Hmm. Nope. So, bad dash. There we go. Grab the piece, take the gate. And all the parts of A. Does that mean I can just go on to the next? Okay, now I'm actually really confused. So, hmm. Okay, let's not run for a little bit. So I can explore. So if A is sorted. Part 2 of certification has now been generated. Part 2 has been designed to test your consistency, the consistency of some of your outlier responses in the previous round. 
You will be presented with a series of statements. Please indicate your agreement where appropriate. Alright. Science, since only citizens can be persons, a hermit cannot be a person. Uh, and just broadly. Alright, well, no. Hermits can be people. A person is under no authority other than that which they consent. Yeah, I would agree with that. I mean, technically you don't have to follow the law, but... You know, if you don't go with the law, then you're gonna... You know, suffer the consequences. Quality of life of persons ought to be maximized. Yes. Value is discovered. Uh, yes. I love how it says agree, and I suppose just so I'm not actually agreeing with everything. Persons deserve the talents they were born into. No. Liberty of persons ought to be maximized. Sure. Value is created. Also true. You receive a notification when user profile has been generated. Cool. Any other documents? Yes. Ooh, Ian. My first day at the Institute for Applied Nomadics. On the way to work, I'm terrified. What if they don't like me? What if they're all geniuses and I'm a complete buffoon? Maybe they were just kidding about letting me work there. Ah, trembling, I walk in. At the right of the entrance is a life-size poster of Jeff Goldblum. The hell? Then I get it. Institute for Applied Nomadics. Ian. Dr. Ian Malcolm. From Jurassic Park movies, Jeff Goldblum. Dr. S Ooh. Uh, Sarabai shows up smiling. We were trying to find a cool acronym back when the Institute was founded. She said, Enin? Epin? Epino? That all sounds stupid. But we didn't want to just call it Ian because, well, it's a name. And someone made a joke about calling it Jeff, and it kind of stuck. So we officially called Ian. But if you hear anyone referring to Jeff, that's our internal name. I guess. I know, I know. Bloody geeks. After that conversation, I wasn't so scared anymore. Well, good job, Frank. You kind of got into things. The Talos Principle. Whether it is true that Daedalus constructed the giant Talos, or as others say, he was the creation of Hephaestus, what we may be certain is that he was made of bronze. He had but one vein within, which flowed liquid substance like blood, which some claim was quicksilver and the others assert it was ichor, such as flows in the veins of gods. The loss of that liquid caused him to die, as a man dies when he loses blood. But we may not say that Talos, though created as a machine or toy, Ooh. may we not then say that Talos, though created as a machine or a toy, had all the essential properties of man? He moved of his own volition, he spoke and could be spoken to, had wishes and desires. Indeed, in the tale of the Argonauts, that was the cause of his downfall. If, then, a machine may have all the properties of, properties of man, and act as man, while driven only by the ingenious plan of its construction, and the interaction of its materials, according to the principles of nature, then does this not follow that man may also be seen as machine? This contradicts all the schools of metaphysics, yet even the most faithful philosopher cannot live without his blood. Uh-huh. Athena analysis, then. She woke up in an impossible place, knowing nothing. Signifies more than the beginning of another amnesia-based mystery, that we should not go so far as to read the entire work as an allegory. Rather, while taking the science fictional novice at the core of the narrative at face value, we should... something. Having no inherent knowledge of the nature of the world, forced to rely on only what we are told by others, and what our own subjective, flawed, limited senses tell us, and objective reality come into conflict. Social reality, belief, and objective reality, matter, come into conflict. When, in chapter 16, A Second Awakening, the protagonist questions his mentor on the... something. And just corruption. Okay. Well, that's it for that, and uh, that's it for this area too, other than the star, so... We're out. Alright. We got five more here. Three, four, five, six, seven. And nothing in here. Unless we get some of the bonus stuff. And of course none of the stars because we don't get any of the bonus stuff. What's back here? 
Uh, ah, unlocking things. Hmm, okay. As he said, though, these sigils are not necessarily meant to use for getting to his tower, so we don't need them. Uh, Alright, well, I think that's going to do it here for us tonight. Uh, we're going to stay here in the temple, and then we will go into World 3 here next time. Thank you so much for joining me. I know I went through those first couple of puzzles there a little quickly. Uh, they were, I feel they were pretty straightforward, uh, and I hope that um, it wasn't too jarring here. We're going to see how it goes here in the, uh, here in the edits. Uh, but for now, that is all for me. This is your librarian, Bruno Fightmaster, checking out. <laughs>